Hi, everybody. I'm Sandra Tan, reporter with the Buffalo News. We all know that Monday is Eclipse Day, and we know what we're going to see in the sky, but what is really going on up there in space? Well, we have the chief scientist for the Buffalo Museum of Science, Dr. Holly Schreiber, who is going to explain it to us using everyday objects. So hopefully this is something we can take home and show everybody around us. So Holly, um, tell us a little bit about what a solar eclipse is and how rare it is. So yeah, a solar eclipse happens when the moon comes between the earth and the sun and blots out the light of the sun for um, usually about two hours or so they take. Um, they're rare because everything has to line up perfectly, both the moon's orbit around the earth and the earth's orbit around the sun. And you are going to show us what's happening up in space using some common items that we have right here. Yeah, so I grabbed my daughter's volleyball this morning um, and we had some other balls laying around. Um, this volleyball represents the sun. Of course, these balls are not to scale, but <laughs> they illustrate the point. Um, so the volleyball is the sun and okay. this white plastic ball is our earth and the orange uh, golf ball is the moon. Okay. So we all know that the earth rotates or orbits, excuse me, around the sun and then the moon at the same time is orbiting around the earth. And when that happens, when they, their orbits all line up in the single plane and the moon comes between the earth and the sun, then we will have a total solar eclipse. And so the shadow we're seeing is what? The shadow that we see is just the shadow of the moon. Um, it's only about 100 miles wide or so. And it's moving, depending on where you are on Earth, anywhere from about 1,500 miles an hour to over 2,000 miles per hour. Okay, cool. And this is something that anybody could use if they want to show their kids, their spouses, anyone else, um, if they want to demonstrate this at home. Exactly, exactly. Just get your three objects and play out. Um, we like to call it the orbital ballet. Okay, the orbital ballet. All right. Well, thank you so much, Holly. We really appreciate you coming and sharing this with us. You're welcome. Happy to be here.